Hello everyone, welcome back to Next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see one of the method in XPath, Start Smith. So this Start Smith method is very useful to work with the dynamic XPath. Say for example, if, the, if the, any of the HTML element has some attribute with value starts with username and the next part is some numeric values which is dynamically generated. So in that case for that particular attribute, we can use this starts with method with username and another way is uh, we can use for the display text as well where uh, the display text uh, starts with a login iphone 946 but last four digit is dynamically generated so in that case also we can use this starts with method right it will be very useful when coming for dynamic export so what are, what are the uh, syntax that we can use there are two different syntax one is we can work with attribute another one is we can work with text so this is the relative x path so that always starts with double forward slash and what is the diagram we want to work with and within square bracket we have to give the starts with method and what is the attribute name and its corresponding value so this is the first syntax and the second one is same but instead of attribute if you want to use your display text so we have to use the text method so we have already seen this text method how can we use it in the previous video so the text method we have to give the display text so here the conditions are so the values whatever we are giving over here it's a case sensitive and what are the display text we are giving here also case sensitive so here we can give partial text like what is the starts with then it will work with right? let's see in some example so let's take this uh, salesforce login page so over here we can see multiple elements let's take this forgot your password link and under your elements press ctrl f we can see one open input uh, text box over here let's start with the double forward slash and what is the tag name now for this this is the anchor tag right so what what we have to work with is starts with method so give within square bracket starts iphone with so within the method parenthesis so we can give attribute name what is the attribute name you want to work with so what is the attribute it has let's see uh, we have id class href so let's take id and this is the text so give at the rate so to work with any attribute we have to give at the rate symbol and the id what is the attribute comma within single quotes we have to give the what is the text we want to work with so here it is not necessary to give complete word so because we are using starts with so we can give anything so instead of giving the first place we can give prefix like this so even with one text also it will work so we can see over here so it is one of one it is finding it right so this is the one find x path right let's try finding it and work use find element method by dot we have to use x path and what is the x path we have taken is and what is the action we want to perform i want to perform click operation right so in the similar way so this one has display text as well so we can use the display text with starts with method instead of at the rate id we have to use text method comma what is the text we wanted to use so we have to use forgot your password method so here instead of giving complete text we can give partial text that is starts with so we can give forgot here also we can give one single digit letter also so like this we can give so this is the another way of writing your export using a starts with method right so let's try finding this as well this is the another way of writing export using start with right so let's try running this so what will happen it has to find starts with this particular uh, id attribute and it has to click on that link and then it has to close that browser it has clicked on forgot your password and 
it has it has closed right so that is the link we have given and let's try running uh, using text method we have found let's try running this so it has to maximize and it has to click on forget your password link and it is not finding it and it has to yeah we have made a mistake over here what is that we have given double square bracket so it has to give invalid selector exception because we have given double angle square brackets so that's why it is throwing that exception right so let's remove this and try running it so some sometimes if you are making any small mistake also right it will throw exception in and that's a wonderful feature now we can see right it's clicked on forgot your password link and it is closed right so if you are giving any invalid values in this uh, starts with method right set kind of i'm, I'm going to give starts with something uh, it is it had the input text as forgot your password instead of forget I, let's try giving your because this your is a coming after forgot so we have to give forgot instead of your so let's try running this what will happen it has to throw exception right it is not clicking on it even though after appearing it has to after some uh, wait time it has to throw a exception over here I, yes it is throwing no such element exception because start this particular text is not starting with your that's why it is throwing no such element exception so let's try giving something so instead of uppercase let's give smaller case lower case so in this case also it should throw the same exception So even though it is appeared it is not clicking on it and after 10 seconds it has to throw same no such element exception so over here you can see so these are the different cases that we have to consider when writing your export hope this session was useful guys thanks for watching